Unit 6, Video 2, Graphing Quadratic Functions Including Vertex Form. So here's our vertex form. Y equals A, parentheses, X minus H, parentheses squared, plus K, where H, K is always the vertex, and X and Y are always there as letters. Okay, so we solved problems algebraically that looked like this, especially when we solved problems using the square root method. And as you're going to see, our steps are basically the same as when we graphed before. Um, we're just looking at a different equation style. Just like the other, step one, find the vertex. If the equation is already in vertex form, the vertex will be at the point HK. Step two, find the y-intercept. So to find the y-intercept, we're just going to simply substitute in a zero for the x value into the equation to find the y value. This is the y-intercept. Step three, find the zeros, a.k.a. roots or x-intercepts. To find the x-intercept, let y equal zero and solve for x. You can solve for x by using the square root method or quadratic formula. And step four, graph the parabola. If you have no x-intercepts, find two more points by choosing a value to the left of your x-value of the vertex and a value to the right of the x-value of the vertex. All right, first example, y equals, parentheses, x minus 1, parentheses, squared, minus 3. So step one is identify the vertex. So since it is in vertex form, my h comma k, which is my vertex, is 1 comma negative 3. I'm getting the 1 from right here because the formula says x minus h. So thus my h is a positive 1. And my k is right here because it said that plus k over here. So it's a minus 3. This is my vertex. Step one is done. Now moving on to step two. Step two said find the y-intercept. So I'm going to plug in a zero for x and solve for y. Okay, so step two I have there for you. Um, I plugged in zero for x. I followed the equation all the way down, and I got y equals negative two. So step two, my y-intercept would be at negative two. Now moving on to step three, I need to find the roots or the x-intercepts. And when I do this, I'm going to set it equal to zero and solve. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add 3 to both sides so I can solve this using the square root method. And remember when I'm doing that, I'm simply taking the square root of this side and the square root of that side. So I am left with x minus 1 equals plus or minus whatever the square root of 3 is. Square root of 3 is 1.73, so I have x minus 1 equals plus or minus 1.73 because um, I don't need to keep going on the decimal. And so I'm going to do the two equations. And when I go ahead and do that, I get x equals 2.73 and x equals negative 0.73. So now my last step is to simply graph it. So remember, my vertex is 1 comma negative 3, so I'm going to put a point there. I know my y-intercept is at negative 2, so I'm going to put a point there. And I know what my two x-intercepts are, 2.73 and a negative 0.73. So I'm going to put two points there. And now I'm going to connect those dots in a U-shape like shape. And yes, I realize I didn't do the best job drawing through the other dot there on that x-intercept, but there is the graph of that equation. And we're going to follow these steps each time we graph an equation. So it just depends what form it's in, and we need to start recognizing that. Okay, new equation. y equals negative 2, parentheses, x plus 2, parentheses, squared, plus 3. Step 1 is find the vertex. So we're going to pull the vertex out of this equation. So my vertex is negative 2, 3. Because again, I'm pulling right here. I'm taking the opposite of whatever is inside this parentheses, thus the negative 2, and the same of what's on the outside of this parentheses for my k value. So I have my vertex. Moving on now to my y-intercepts, I'm going to plug in a 0 where I see an x and solve for y. Okay, and at this point, guys, remember order of operations. I need to do the exponent, this right here. I need to square that 2 before I multiply with this negative 2. Do not forget order of operations. So when I do the problem correctly there, using my order of operations, I end up with my y-intercept is negative 5. Okay, now we move to step 3, which is finding my x-intercepts or my roots. And to do that, I just take the equation that I've been given, and instead of it equal to y, I now set it equal to 0, because I'm saying where y equals 0, what does my x value is equal? I'm going to go ahead and rearrange this and use um, square root method. First step is to subtract 3, because again, I'm doing opposite of my order of operations in this sense, to move things 
isolating the variable, move things away from the variable. Next step is to divide both sides by negative 2 because I want to, again, get rid of what's on the outside of that parentheses so I can actually do the square root method. Now I'm going to square root both sides. When I do that, I get x plus 2 equals plus or minus 1.22. So now I'm going to go ahead and separate it into two equations and solve for x. Okay, so when I actually do that part, I get x equals negative 0.78 and x equals negative 3.22. So those are my two x-intercepts or my roots. So now moving on to step four is to graph it. So I'm going to plot all my points, my vertex, my y-intercept, and my x-intercepts. And now I'm going to sketch the graph. Doing the best you can, sketch the graph going through those points, and that is the graph of that equation. All right, equation is y equals 3, parentheses, x plus 1, parentheses, squared, minus 5. So let's find our vertex. Our vertex is negative 1, comma, negative 5. Moving on to step 2, find our y-intercept. Y-intercept has been found by plugging in 0 for x, so y equals negative 2. Moving on to find the x-intercepts. Okay, so now I plugged in the 0 for y, and I'm solving, so I added 5 to both sides. Then I divided by 3. See, it's very formulaic here. We're doing the same type of steps again and again. Take the square root of both sides, and I get x plus 1 equals plus or minus 1.29. Now I want to solve for x for those two equations. And when I do so, I get x equals 0.29 and x equals negative 2.29. So now I need to graph. So I'm going to plot my points, my vertex, my y-intercept, and my x-intercepts. And now I'm going to sketch my parabola. Again, trying your best to make them go through the points that you just plotted. Um, so there you go. There's this graph of that equation. Okay, so we have one last one, and this one is what happens when you end up getting where it's you're not going to get x-intercepts. So let's go through this problem. Step one, find the vertex. Step two, find the y-intercept by plugging in 0 for x. Okay, step three, find the x-intercepts by setting the equation equal to 0 instead of y. Here's where the problem has an issue, because once I take the square root of both sides, I'm taking a square root of a negative. You cannot square root a negative. Um, so this means the graph does not cross the x-axis at any point. That's what it means when you get the step to square rooting a negative. It's not going to cross. So now we have to take a slightly detour um, and maybe find some more points on the graph that's to the left and right of the vertex. Now, here's the graph. We do know the y-intercept. So since we have the vertex and the y-intercept and we know that it's symmetric, we could actually go ahead and graph as the, with the information we have. So we know the vertex is at 2, 1. And we know the y-intercept is at 5. Again, we know that this is symmetrical. So because we know that this is symmetrical and we know the vertex, we know that we're going to be coming this way and we're going to be going the same shape looking as symmetric as possible. So if you have the y-intercept and you have the vertex, you can still sketch a graph with those two if you are understanding that it is parabola. If not, do what we did last unit, or last video, I mean, where we went ahead and plugged in an x value of like 1 and an x value of 3, since they are on both sides of that 2 there. Figure out what the value is here. Figure out what the value is there. Um, and they should be the same in this case because I'm going 1 over and 1 over and go from there. But other than that, you could graph with just this information.